On January 23, 2001, Makoto Yukimura released the first volume of his science fiction manga Planetes. New volumes would slowly make their way to readers' bookshelves over the next several years. But unbeknownst to fans, a few things were brewing in the background. In March of 2003, shortly after the release of the third volume, Tokyo Pop announced they had acquired the rights to Planetes. They planned to release the first volume in North America that October. A few months later, an anime adaptation of the series was announced, and its scheduled broadcast date also fell in October. And on October 4, 2003, Planet Test debuted on NHK BS2 and ran for 26 episodes, with the final one airing on April 17, 2004. A few days after the anime started airing in Japan, Tokyo Pop released the first volume of Planet Test in North America on October 7, 2003. Like the original manga, it would take a little while for every volume to be released, but unlike the originals, Tokyo Pop decided to split the final volume into two parts, meaning that the North American version of Planet Test would be five volumes long instead of four. But there were other things going on during this extended release period. On July 31, 2004, Bandai announced they had acquired the home video rights to the series. Fans in California would get to have the first look at it. On December 12, Bandai held free screenings of some of their titles at the Metreon Theater in San Francisco. During the show, they would also show previews of anime that hadn't yet been released, like Planetes. More details about the DVD release came out the following February. Bandai announced special features, like interviews and episode commentaries, and that each volume would be released as a two-disc special edition set. Planetes Volume 1 was released on June 14, 2005, with a new volume hitting store shelves every couple of months. Despite what was previously stated, only the first three volumes actually ended up being special edition sets. Starting with the release of Volume 4 on December 13th, every set would only come with one disc. For fans who wanted to maximize shelf space, Bandai released Planet Test the Complete Collection at the end of 2006. Even though there had been a nearly constant stream of products being released for the last few years, that didn't mean that this series was exceptionally popular. Actually, if North American manga sales are anything to go by, the series was solidly in the niche category from the very beginning. According to Diamond Comic Sales Estimates, the first two volumes sold less than 1,300 copies during their first month on store shelves. There aren't any specific estimates because numbers weren't released for anything that fell outside of the top 50, but the last few volumes don't paint a much better picture. Despite having more concrete numbers once the list expanded to the top 100, Volume 3 sold 1,099 copies during its launch month. Volume 4 Part 1, which was the best selling of the bunch, managed to move around 1,422 units. The final volume didn't fare as well, selling less than 1,200 copies and not managing to break into the top 100. Things slowed down a bit after 2006, as the series slowly made its way across the world on broadcast television. The next big release wouldn't happen until 2009, when the series was released for the first time on Blu-ray in Japan on September 25th. But after that, things went dead silent. There wasn't any news about a future Western Blu-ray release, and the series wasn't added to any of the increasingly popular video streaming services. Things continued this way for the next several years, until on March 29, 2015, people spotted a curious listing on Amazon. The next day, Dark Horse Comics confirmed to Anime News Network that they were releasing a Planetist Omnibus, and that the first volume would be released on December 22nd. However, despite the initial report, it would arrive a couple of weeks early, hitting store shelves on December 9th. The second and final Omnibus would be released the following year on April 27, 2016. 2016 also marked a new first for the anime. On October 1st, Italian streaming service Vid announced that it was bringing Planetes to its streaming platform. This was the first time that the series was made officially available for streaming, but unfortunately, it would also be the last. As of August 2023, Vid appears to be the only official streaming service to have Planetes in its library. Things went quiet again for the next several years, with the silence eventually being broken at the end of May in 2020. Anime Limited, or All the Anime, a distributor in the United Kingdom, announced that they were going to release Planetes on Blu-ray in the UK. And on April 26, 2021, the Planetes Blu-ray Collector's Edition was released, and it contained both Japanese and English audio. If you miss out on the Collector's Edition, which appears to now be out of print, Anime Limited re-released the series as a standard Blu-ray set on November 1st. And as of August 2023, this set is still in print. Just when it looks like it has been completely forgotten, Planetes seems to find a new way to surprise its fans. And unlike some of the shows that I've covered previously, it hasn't completely disappeared.